Owning a business is hard. We've all got problems. This is my biggest problem this week. So guys, before we get into episode two of my biggest problem, this is the time we're gonna share as much as we can the true raw details of what's going on and this is the time to subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell just so you can see everything that this series has to bring to you and I am so excited to share this week's problem. So let's get into it. This week's problem, it's something that as you grow a business, as you grow a team, you're gonna continue to face more and more and more. I hope these bugs, cicadas, whatever this is, isn't driving you as insane as it's driving me. I'm gonna keep pushing forward and shooting this video. But So in all the confusion of the loud cicadas that were going nuts earlier, as soon as I said that in that video when I was editing this, I realized I never clearly stated what the actual problem was. And the problem is clear communication between staff and field. As you grow a business and you grow your team, and and when people are doing estimates in the office and out in the field and then they're conveying that to the field, to the guys in the field, it is so easy to muddy, well this is what was supposed to happen and then this is what happened. And you may be watching this right now and you may be still working on the one crew that you have. You go out, you estimate the work, you go do the work with by yourself or with a couple other people, however that may be. And, and when it starts off, it's really, really easy because you look at all the work, you go out and make sure it's done right. Worst case scenario, you forget one little thing and you can still make it right easy. But as this multiplies, the person that estimates stops being the person that is out doing every job. And now the person that estimates might stop by the job or might give notes on the job or might give a video on the job. And it gets harder and harder and harder as it gets bigger to control and to make sure the correct things are happening on every job to get someone the quality of service that you want. So that's been our biggest problem this week. This is something that we've always felt. We'll get it a little better and then we'll have some issues. We'll get a little better and then we'll have some issues. But Melanie had done an estimate for a project and there were notes that looked really, really clear. There were pictures that looked really, really clear. And when the guys went out to do the job, it didn't really matter because we still caught it before the job was over. But what was expected to get done in the job is not what was going to happen. You know, um, certain things, they, they thought they were done with the job and, and it wasn't even done yet. And it's something that's really, really frustrating as for me, it was always really frustrating for me as the owner, you know, and, and now as other people that are doing estimates and it looks so cut and dry, so crystal clear, such a simple project and it turns into completely getting misinterpreted and not done the way you want. And then compile that and, and, and add jobs and jobs and jobs and, 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 and do more and more and more. And you can see how that can be such a huge problem. That clear line of communication from estimating to how it goes down in the shop to document it to how it gets out in the field to make sure the job gets done correct. Because in our business, we are offering a service all businesses are offering some sort of service, you know, some sort of service or good to add value. And if you add all this value to get the project sold, get the thing sold, and then you don't add any value in the service because of lack of details, lack of things getting done correctly, having to go back and fix it six times, it, it really, really makes it hard to have a smooth flowing transition, to have a seamless business that will grow to have less stress from a, a owner's position or the estimator's position or whoever's doing that job. Because, you know, Melanie's someone that takes, a, she holds a lot of accountability in the things she does because she gets paid commission for the work that she's doing, for the work that she's selling. So she takes pride in what she sells and when it gets sold, she wants it to be done the way she intended. She wants it to be done the way she wanted it to get performed so the customer would be happy. She sold the customer a service and she wants the service she sold to come to fruition correctly. So, what do we do about this? How do we, how do we work on this? 
How do we make this better? How do we try to move this forward where there's not as much of an issue, you know, where there's, where there's less of an issue? Because you're gonna keep fighting it. As you grow your business, it's going to be the thing that happens over and over and over is you're gonna grow, you're gonna grow, and then you're gonna add crews, and now there needs to be better communication. If you're not, if it's not just communication between you and those crews, then it'll be communication between some new estimator and those crews as well. And this is, a, it's always, it's always moving and growing and learning. That's what's beautiful about business is it's not just stagnant same problems. It's, it's getting bigger and things are changing and you're taking on new problems. So the things we've done, in the past, I've been super, super adamant on using videos. So just like I'm videoing myself now, except flipped around, and I will point at everything in the project. Like say if it was this bush row that you see behind me, I would say, hey guys, we are gonna trim it to this height, and we're gonna trim this three foot back from the face as straight as we can along the front, um, and, then, and then give any other specific notes, you know, because in a video like this, you can point right back here at the bottom of this brush and you can say, I also want everything raised this high. And, and some people, the notes just is, you just can't make sense of them like they can a video. So in a lot of brush cleanup and a lot of cleanup job stuff, we're really, really big on videos. But then there's also pictures. We've got bigger and bigger and bigger with using pictures. I have kind of set the model of I love pictures. I am also probably one of the worst people. I take a bunch of pictures of every project every time, but I'm not always great at uploading them because I'm jumping around doing a million different things. But so we take pictures and we use OneDrive. We use OneDrive for all of our, all kinds of different things, for our Google Sheets, for our, for our maintenance on our equipment, all sorts of things tracking the business but we have a landscaping area where we just upload a file then upload all the pictures so John Smith calls today wants an estimate I go out and take all the pictures of this and then I make a John Smith file right here and then I upload all his pictures and a video if we have a video as well those are some of the ways we have really stepped it up in the past but now new ways we're stepping it up is plans some kind of plan it doesn't matter if you have a 3d software like what we have or or you do it on paper but you know we really didn't like I'm not a big fan of doing any kind of 3d designing without getting some sort of compensation for it because it, you just do them and do them and do them and you might not land the jobs I love doing them but I want to get paid to do them so what what that's led to, and since that was kind of my reasoning for not always doing a design, what that had led to is me doing less and selling stuff just on paper. And then there wouldn't be a plan for it. So now the other thing we've done is pretty much every job, if there's any kind of plantings or anything, there's at least a rough plan on a piece of paper. So we don't have to, here's the general idea. Here's what's getting done. We've added that. We've added more detailed notes. We've added sending work orders out with the guys every day on top of using the tablets like we use for the mo crews the landscaping crews it's been easier to send them out more of a job packet on everything that they're doing to make sure the communication is clear so those are some of the things that we've really really changed if you guys have any ideas or comments on this if some of the things you've used to grow your business have really really changed that line of communication leave it in the comments below i want to hear it I definitely want to be able to spread the word about things that make this connection the best because this is one of the problems I promise you that you will fight the hardest in your business give it all the other problems that you're gonna have and all the other challenges you're gonna have it's the clear communication and when that ball gets dropped the frustration it causes and it causes jobs to get delayed things to get pushed back customers to be mad it causes like it, all the bad problems you can have in your business can stem from that lack of clear communication. So, what are some of the takeaways from this? What are some of the what are some of the big points from this that have really really stuck out to me when I look at this and I look at at how we're changing and what it may cause and and all these things is video has been a huge thing for us. Just like I can communicate clearly with you today, you can watch this and absorb so much of what I'm saying because you get to see it feel it you know it's right there in front of you that has been the same thing for the guys 
with a video of how to do trim jobs, clean up jobs. And the other part of that is, you know, a takeaway from that is using that and then having a group, having a, a business group locked Facebook page where people can actually upload the videos of these jobs that need to get done with a name. And any of your employees, you know, if you lose an employee, you can kick them out of the group, whatever. But any of your employees, while they're a person, while they're a part of that group, they can just look it up and they can watch it in any time. They can go back two years later and see what they trimmed two years before. So that was a huge takeaway. My other big takeaway is the notes on the jobs getting more and more and more detailed with plans has been a huge takeaway. Giving the guys a folder, <laughs> you know, giving the guys a folder, something so simple that we need to get better about because that, we'd been dropping the ball because we lost a person in the office that was moving on to a new career. Uh, new a new passion of hers and we we're in transition getting someone new in the shop so we've been running like mad and not getting all this stuff done and materials weren't getting ordered as well things weren't happening as well we weren't getting our job packets put out as clearly and the biggest takeaway is just that simple folder of having those things in there some pictures of the job the the work order the notes and the plan BAM can change all these problems for you they can take a lot of these problems away for you you know <laughs> and, and it's crazy you know people think that you're only gonna have problems on these huge 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 jobs it can be a two or three thousand dollar job that can turn into a big nightmare because of some simple details even though it's not even a big job you know it's not gonna take much time guys aren't gonna be there that long that's the exact price range of the one I'm talking about the, the problem we had this week that, that spurred this video so so that was another huge takeaway is get that stuff put together get that stuff figured out and if you're starting off and you're solo and you haven't got to that point yet where you've got other crews be thinking about what it's gonna take be thinking about how you're gonna document it because it's so so easy to remember when you're an obsessed owner that loves doing this stuff it's so easy to remember what needs to be done and it seems like it's common sense, but it's not. It's not common sense. It is not common sense at all. You're just really, really good at doing what you're doing, and not everybody's gonna be as good at you at doing it. And it's gonna be a challenge to get more people to do it. And it's going to be an ever-ending challenge that you need to keep getting better. And then you need to take accountability for when the ball gets dropped like this, even though Melanie should have had better documentation, should have handed, the, if she had good documentation, which she did, she should have had the packet put together better for them. There was all kinds of different things. It's still my fault that I'm not giving all the tools and holding people accountable, making sure that all these things are ready. So it, it flows from the top, guys. Hey, I hope you liked this. I hope you saw this problem. Give me a thumbs up if you have this problem in your business. And if you've got multiple crews or you're sending anybody out to do stuff, I know you are, so give me that thumbs up. Guys, I can't wait to see you again. Talk to you later. Bye.